All right, guys, so another day out of here. We're staying in bunker. Start off the day like this. This is my goal, find bunker and live on it and hopefully get some big old fish here. All right, baby. All right, here we go. Now, I am gonna drop this thing down to the bottom. really didn't like the the belly hook up here because it's not gonna survive for very long but first we're gonna try dropping it down at that circle hook there dropping it down to the bottom on a sinker it did have some marks on the bottom so we'll see sometimes they want it on top without a sinker other times they want it on the bottom so I'm gonna drop her down first and see what happens okay I really don't like these circle hooks you tend to miss a bunch of fish Put you right through the nose here. The blood in the mouth. There we go. Make sure that's good. All right. Perfect. Drop her down. There we go. There we go. Alright, so I snagged another bunker, but by the time I was done snagging this one, I was off the school. I wasn't marking fish anywhere else but under the school, a bunker, and on the side of it. So I held the bunker, already rigged, on the circle hook and the sinker, and I moved it into the exact position I wanted it to be. And I didn't just drop it where I after I was done unhooking it, uh, because I knew that area was void of fish sometimes the fish aren't even under the bunker schools what i do is i'll snag the bunker i'll try to keep it as lively as possible and i'll pedal to a close by area where i think is going to hold fish or a marking fish whether that be a ledge or some kind of a point or some rocks or just something that's going to hold more fish than just a void empty bunker school and it happens a lot a lot of bunker schools do not hold fish and uh so here i am hooked up with another one This fish was away from every bunker school. All I was doing was drifting a steep drop 
ledge that I had marked fish on uh, here and there and it, it paid off. It was like my last fish of the day and um, it was away from the schools, away from the boats. Sometimes it does pay to venture off to areas that are known to have fish and not just keep following that bunker school if you're not getting anything on them. Perfect. Perfect 31. Very good. This is like my fourth slot of the season. I released the first three, so I'm keeping this one for dinner. And she did. So now I'm going to bleed the fish out. I just slice the gill plate membrane on each side and that usually does the trick. See that you can see that there, a lot of blood comes out. Stick them in the water, wash them off, don't let go of them because they'll still thresh around and uh, they could escape, you got to hold on tight. So, but this usually does the trick, nice white meat. So four fish, hope you can hear me, there's a lot of machinery going around, train going by. Um, four fish, all between 31 and 33 inches, all slots. I did a little bit better yesterday. Uh, well, like I should say, I didn't do better. I couldn't land a freaking fish yesterday with these circle hooks, but they were bigger. I had one at the boat that spit the hook that was 40 inches easy. So, all in all, still a great day. Uh, I did see people catch smaller fish than slots, so, fishing the, the fish kind of got smaller today um, and the boat traffic really picked up here even though it's a weekday and kind of killed the bite man it's like an early morning thing uh, as soon as that boat traffic picks up these fish get a little skittish so you get out there and uh, you know I think it's gonna be a, uh, like rain and 40 mile an hour winds the next three or four days so I had to get out here today um, and that's it Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.